Super Spears Brothers. Yeah, I can see what you're gonna be able to do. So we're we're, we're playing a little bit of McKids. Um, it's yeah, a this McDonald's is a weird game. game, but it kind of has nothing to do with McDonald's. It has like McDonald's characters. But that's about it. And like oh, you can't. Yeah, you can't Mario them. No, I can't. Oh, hey, there's a ceiling. No, no, that's a canopy. Oh, go back. But I have a feeling this is like a like this game's not bad, right? Like it's pretty. No, no this is pretty well respected, actually. Oh. Back. But I, I like. Oh. Okay. It. Oh. oh. I, I beat the level. There you go. You just get, yeah, the trick to that level is jumping over that one thing. <laughs> and then Who'd have thunk? I like that you would give a guy a high five and it makes it look like maybe you're gonna play as that guy. No, you're still the same kid. Yeah. Well, let's go to level two. We haven't found any cards yet. Oh! Oh! I'm good I was, this game must have been designed though so that small kids could play it, even though once it really doesn't take long before they can. Yeah. Uh oh. Can I sit on my lap there, Casper? You can't get that, little bubba. <laughs> uh, but it, what it seems to me is like a guy had an idea for a game, and probably uh -oh. this was how he got it funded, you know, by like. Um connecting it to an existing property where they wanted a game. Like, it just seems like it's unrelated. Yeah. And some of the concepts could have been for anything. Because it has, like, Mario 2 grabbing and Mario 3 overworld and level design, basically. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, it's sort of bit someone played two Mario games and, like, let's do that. And maybe they played, um, oh, look, what happens to There's boxes? a water table way below, though. I didn't know that was going to happen. Have uh, you no, but I figured since there's platforms up there. Oh, I guess you're using your brain. Yay! Come on up. Did he get an egg? The, um... It just, it just seems like there's some like neat ideas that they've made in this game. And there's a lot of Nintendo games with no good ideas in them. Yeah. And there's a lot of licensed oh. games with no good ideas in them. And this one's sort of like... It's un... It just doesn't have much to do with its property. And that's kind of why it works. Yeah. Because I remember as a kid seeing things, oh, this is advertising, and I'm too punk rock for that. That's kind of how I thought when I was a kid. Yeah. I got a card. But, yeah. but the game itself works, and it, and, and it really, you don't need to think about McDonald's at all in order to enjoy this game. No, like, there's a... Whoops. There's, like, very little, like, the like the NPCs are McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, I say it's for... Uh, something. It's for that. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is that... <laughs> does, does that uh, fish have a problem? Huh? It, it looks very much like it belongs in the Goonies. It does. It's, oh, oh, it's trying to feel bad about not wanting to be its friend. Am I just judging it based on appearance? And the fact that I and think it wants to eat me? And the fact that it's like a... Like, like a, uh, it's a toothy piranha. In a video game. The, the rule of a piranha video game is they just want to eat everything. Yeah. Polka dots. It actually looks like, one, like a sort of Japanese design. Okay. The game doesn't look very Japanese design, I would say. No. This looks like someone who didn't really know how to do art very well. No, the but, but they've done a good job. Like, like it seems like a terrible artist who's done a great job. Like, it looks kind of like program art, but oh yeah. Wow, you gotta do undo zippers. Oh dear. That, so this that, is based on McDonald's that, and clowns. That, that, the thing. Okay, I just have to hit the button, okay. Yeah, but there's really not that many buttons. I need to bring more attention when I'm jumping. <laughs> Cause I really want, I really want, I guess that's the second player. Oh, maybe it is. Cause I kind of want to play as him. He seems cool though. <laughs> well, that, that's that's definitely racist, or is it just the haircut? Yeah, it's the haircut. <laughs> that's racist. Well, no, well, I think it would not that he's cool, but it'd be cooler to play, cause we need to play a POC. Ah, okay, we're doing an S game. One thing that playing video games for the internet told, has got me good at is screaming and then interrupting interrupting a thought with a scream and then interrupting the scream while continuing the thought. Look, Gasper, but there's a little heart in the sky made of trees. And now it's this big smiles made of falling leaves that don't fall. That's eerie. This is McDonald's magic. And you know what? They've got a clown that can do all kinds of magical things. He should get the cards. Frankly. Yeah, they're his cards. And he's supposed to be your friend wearing big red shoes. 
don't know what the red shoes have anything to do with anything, but yeah. And like the diaries, the red shoe diaries. Oh, I see. That's a reference to something. Yeah, that's right, it's a reference. All references are here by comedy, and all comedies are references. Done. Yeah, I got the code. Oh, you should have gone up higher. I don't want to take me high up. Did I save my code? Do I have to get the code again? My turn, my yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't save my code. Oh, for some reason I have a wicked cramp. That's neither here nor there. Oh, I've got wicked cramp. Got wicked cramp, bro. Uh, do you even lift your organs? Because apparently my muscles can't do that. They're, they're failures. They're failures. What, what do you think about this game today, Casper? What do you What do you think about it? Baba Baby Bop. He's really got this Let's Play thing down, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Baba Booey, right? Right, 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 Casper? Yeah. That's also a reference. Everything I say is a reference to something that went before it or after it, or hasn't come yet and will, or will never come. It's sort of a theoretical reference. It, it is. Get the code. Yay. Oh! Oh! Okay, so he's got some M's. What are you gonna do? Run MI6? <laughs> you only need one M to run MI6. Yeah, but you have 72. Yeah, yeah. You've got the age of M. Am I right? Because she's an old lady. It, oh, it, I got confused between Q and M. Yeah, the very different letters, Blake. Q and M is like it's like a, a a question and musing. Yeah, you get a question and then people just sit around going, "Huh." Mm. Doesn't make for very good quiz shows. That's a weird looking bird. What bird? Run the flu by. Here, let's try a a a a, 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 Q, and, a Q and M. Okay. Uh, uh, Brent, uh, Casper, give me a question. Boop boop bop bop. Uh, Brendan, give me a question. <laughs> What is the kind of noise that Casper would make when asked to make a question? Hmm. Well, you know what? Noises are subjective, though, aren't they? Really, when you break things down, aren't it most things subjective? <laughs> uh, you know what? We can never truly be sure. Yeah, but... I mean, there, presumably there is an I like an objective there's reality. There's a concept of an ideal utterance. Yes, but also there's the. Well, if you look at the existentialists, they do not believe in an objective reality. They believe that all reality is, by its very nature, subjective. Well, and that's so. Well, that's so. They also they do agree with the concept of an objective reality, ultimately. Ultimately, but it can never be understood. Yeah. And certain and hyper. 